Hello, I'm Tim Durham. I'm going to go in these hives and check them. And uh, I haven't planned what I'm going to say or do or show. Uh, but s smoke your hive in the entrance and then underneath the cover. And then wait about a good minute after you smoked them. And so here we go, and you're going to see what I see. And try not to bang anything around. Uh, just move slow and gentle. Alright. Now, I had this inner cover upside down. I'm going to take these, uh, those are high, high, high beetle traps. Uh, one thing I want to emphasize uh, on, on uh, in, the, in the fall of the year, at least try to get these outside two frames over here and over here, try to clean the propolis off of them good. Because if you don't come, see these these frames are 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 wanting. They're trying to come apart, and it's cool in the springtime. And if you haven't cleaned the the propolis, tried to clean them as good as you can, then. In the spring, when they're cold, they're hard to get out of there. Now, I finally got this one on out. Now, this is your outside frame, and it's very unlikely that you're going to see any. Uh, these bees are kind of nervous. I'm, I'm kind of guessing that. Uh, now, I'm primarily. I wanted to confirm that that they have a, a queen and I see eggs and larvae and I'm not uh, so far I'm not too uh, excited I'm not too uh, I'm not feeling like uh, I'm gonna find they're they're fanning quite a bit uh, there's nectar in this one this is the third frame. Uh, that's that's a that's a poor that's a poor. That's that's poor comb. It needs to be replaced. Uh, I'm not I'm not. Uh, I'll bet you this does not have a queen in it because I can hear them fanning and making a, a roaring sound. Uh, okay, I'm going to go get my, my reading glasses. All right, I'm going to let a little smoke drift over the top of them. Now this one here, I kind of wondered if I saw some eggs. Okay, there are eggs. Thank you, Lord. There's uh, eggs in this one. Now in the dark comb, in the dark comb, it is harder to see the eggs than it is the new white comb. Uh, so. All right, now we have a we have some uh, brood here. Now this hive, this hive was uh, uh, getting ready to swarm, and um, but there's there's eggs. Now there's more bees on this frame, and chances are good the queen is on this frame. 
are the next one. The, bee, the queen's going to be where the most bees are, or the most bees going to be is where the, be the, where the queen is. As a, as a rule, you don't you won't spot her every time. There's not a whole lot of bees in this hive. So, you know, you would you'd think, well, by, by that, it'd be easier to spot the queen. And, uh, some queens will, they'll get on the bottom board and hide. I want to, I want the, the, ne the, the next two hives next to this one, I want to confirm they have a queen. Uh, instead of cleaning this hive up, I want to be sure they have a queen. And so that's my priority right now. But they have they have a queen, but I see eggs, but they, when they roar like that and fan like that, that, that sometimes can be a be a sign that they, they don't have a a good viable queen. Alright now I'm gonna but right now, I'm going to put these back and uh, and then we're going we're going to peek in the other two hives real quick. All right, let me mention when I first got here, I smoked the entrance and I smoked underneath the top of each one, and then wait about a minute. Now. I give that one another puff right before I go in. Now this is a swarm, an early swarm this year that I put in here. And so this is the first time there's there's a uh, nectar on the outside and okay I'm gonna put that now again I'm, I'm just mainly checking to be sure there's there's uh, eggs larvae now there's a good bit of bees in here and I'll tell you a little trick I'm gonna do I'm already thinking I'm this one has a good many bees in it and I'm gonna swap these positions of these two hives and that way it will build this hive up over here there's a, a, a good bit of pollen in that one Not seeing any eggs or larvae yet, but we put this swarm in here about all right. Here's cat brood. Uh, now I'm gonna blow on these bees. If you eat, if you eat onions, garlic, uh, don't do this. But I'm gonna blow on this so you can see this cat brood here. Now, do you see that light tan? That's capped brood. And, uh, I 
I still would like to see some eggs and larvae, but oh, looky there, that's pretty. Can you can you see that light tan? I've got the sun. When you're looking at your bees, if you can have the sun behind you, uh, every beekeeper likes to see the queen. I, I haven't got too old to get over that. And, and I'm seeing brood, but I ought to see some eggs and larvae, but uh, Well, that really has my curiosity up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is a swarm that was put in here. And uh, that queen did some laying. But I'm not seeing the eggs and, and, eggs and larvae so far. Uh, I'm looking for the queen as I talk. I, I can't multitask. Uh, so, you say, well, what could have happened? I don't think they superseded her. Uh, and it's got a new queen in here, and, and she hadn't started laying yet. That's, you know, I hate to guess, but uh, uh, people write and ask me questions, and, and man, you'll see things every once in a while that you can't figure out. There's, there's, a, there's a good bit of brood in here. I'm looking to see, I'm, I'm still, oh look over here, you see that solid brood, that's pretty, but my, my, baby where are you and where's your eggs? Uh, this kind of got me bum fuzzled, if you know what, if you know what bum fuzzled is. That frame's messed up. That frame. Well, folks. I'll never know what happened here. So, I'm going to come back in this hive in a week or so and try to figure out what I can't figure out. Alright. Uh, I had a hive that had a bunch of queen cells in it, and in, a, uh, in an emergency, I just separated the brood boxes. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look in this one and confirm they've got a queen. Now, uh, earlier, earlier I said uh, I was going to switch those two, but now since I didn't find any eggs and larvae, in that last hive, I'm not going to switch them until I confirm that they've got a good queen. Uh, she might be out. She might be out doing her mate, uh, maiden, maiden flight. Now, there's, there's not a whole lot of bees in here. And I'm looking for eggs. I'm repeating myself. But I reckon when when you go into your hive, you need to look for eggs and larvae. You can go on you can go on Google and type in bee eggs. 
and they can show you some real good pictures what to look for. Now here's... Ah! Mm. 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 That one got me... Mm, that hurt. That one got me on the lip. Okay. Uh, they're starting to get a little fussy. That one got me on the lip. Now, it hurts on the lip. There's two or three places it hurts, and that's one of them. Mm. That's still... That one's still zinging, zinging me. Well, they, they, they've got a queen. I saw a brood. It's not a whole lot of bees, but... They, they've got a... Mm. All right, go. I don't know if I got that stinger out of my lip or not, but anyway, if y'all have any questions, I didn't give you much information today. I was, my mind was concentrating on the bees, and, and that still hurts. Uh, but uh, if y'all have any questions, down below is the comment section. Ask me the question or whatever. And, and so far, I've been able to answer everybody. So y'all have a good day, and enjoy your bees. When our little granddaughter comes home from school, I love to ask her what went on during the day. And you know how kids are. They say everything's okay, and and uh, they don't ever tell you anything. Well, yesterday, uh, I asked her, I said, uh, I said, Caitlin, what, what, uh, uh, what happened at school today? She said, oh, said there, there was something different today that happened. said, um, the teacher brought some uh, red delicious apples. And she told everybody how wonderful, how sweet they are and tasty they are. And she just went on and on and on and how special these apples are. So they couldn't wait till lunchtime, you know. So anyhow... You know, the kids, they line up at the counter and, and they go down the road, down the counter and get what they want. Well, the apples went in a basket right there at the beginning of the counter and the teacher put a sign up and said, uh, uh, just one apple, God is watching. And so... Kendall, she, Caitlin, she went on down the, selecting the food she wanted, and she got down there to the end, and there was a big plate of chocolate chip cookies. Boy, they look good, homemade. And one of the students put a sign up there that said, get as many as you want. God's watching the apples. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, hey, y'all have a good day, and uh, uh, go down there and, and click that thumbs up, and if you have any bee quick, beekeeping questions, go down in the comment section and, and shoot it to me. Be sure and let me know where you are, and uh, uh, sometimes that makes a difference, and I just like to know. All right, y'all have a good day.